woken up early to come and see these fishermen and also to walk through the Grand Bazaar to visit Seban Chachi. It's interesting to note that Seban, who is of Armenian origin, his surname, the Chachi, means a uh, blade maker, which is apt um, for somebody who works metals, although in his case, uh, precious metals now. Uh, Seban stands out amongst the Turkish jewellers for his huge originality and for daring to stand out from the crowd and create something that's truly original and not a uh, pastiche of the past or um, Me Too of uh, European style jewellery. And what he does is he managed to crystallise in his exuberant creations uh, the culture that is um, Istanbul, so that's Ottoman, Byzantine, Christian, it's all there. Now, why Istanbul has been so important in terms of jewellery is the same reason it's been important um, in terms of culture, um, history, and of course commerce. And the reason is right behind me, and it's this busy port that even at this time in the morning is uh, full of boats and activities because this was the great meeting point of the East and West. So let's go and meet Seban and find out more about this very interesting Istanbul. Chachi's uh, showroom and workshops and I have two rings here which I think represent the variety of his work and the techniques and this one here is the pomegranate ring and it is a mixture of techniques including mosaics, uh, intaglio and painting as well all in one and here we have um, seagulls over Istanbul and as you can see Istanbul is actually painted onto the side of the ring and then we have seagulls swirling over the top which um, is so unusual and I don't think anybody else has made a ring like this. Another very good example of Seban's work is a ring called All Over Istanbul and this ring here took about a year and a half to make and in fact it's taken so long to make that Seban is very loath to part with it so don't, don't try and buy this one and it has 7,000 uh, minute little tiles all forming a scene of Istanbul against a, a blue sea and then inside a quartz at the top are two doves whose wings are almost embracing each other so that's a lot of poetry in one ring. I've been around at Seban's workshops and unfortunately I can't take you with me because um, Seban uses lots of techniques which quite understandably he'd rather keep it to himself. Um, one of the most amazing techniques that he uses is um, the one that makes uh, objects appear to float inside a stone, like this one here with the seagulls over Istanbul. Now how he does it, um, as I say, is a mystery, but all I can say is that it does um, employ the intaglio technique, which is reverse stone carving. And, um, and another technique which is very rarely used in jewellery today is micro mosaics. And um, they start off with um, rods like these. Now these are rejected because they're way too thick and the real ones are about a human hair's width. Those are then um, cut into little tiles and then applied one by one, no doubt using tweezers, to create a picture. And in this case, it is um, of Istanbul and the history surrounding it. And then is, that is then baked at 1,200 degrees to make it a porcelain mosaic. So all of these techniques are going into these rings. And there's another technique which um, I'd like to show you, which is how um, these rose-cut diamonds are set with foil backing. Now that used to be done, um, I think the last time it was used was in the Victorian times, and these were rose-cut diamonds which have flat backs, and because they have flat backs there's a lot less depth for brilliance, so the foil gave them that extra fire. So though Seban doesn't choose um, diamonds for their flashy bling qualities, when he does want to use diamonds as a statement like this, he'll put foil backings, and each of these little, uh, um, each of these not little, large diamonds, has a little um, coat made for it that fits it perfectly, every one of its facets, and that's placed behind it before it's set into the ring, and that gives it that um, very antique look, but with, um, with a very attractive sparkle. So those are just three of the techniques that um, Sevan uses, and of course everything else is handmade, um, tapped, hammered, filed um, away, and a ring here can take up to three months to make, and that's um, quite a long time for one piece of jewellery.